Hi guys, it's Natalia here. I'm here today to do a haul video for you. Uh, I went to the Estee Lauder corporate uh, sale last Friday and they had a huge clearance and I went along um, and I got quite a lot of stuff here that I'm really happy with. Um, actually, I don't even know if I'm happy about it because when I got in there, the sale was crazy. There was a two and a half hour lineup from where the, when you walked into that line, there was two and a half hours before you actually got into the store. By this stage, I had been, I was tired, exhausted actually. By the time I got there, I just wanted to grab, get in and get out because then I saw the lineup to pay and that was at least another 15, 20 minutes after you've already done your shopping. So I kind of went nuts and I just picked up anything that I thought I would like. There was something with Mac on it, I picked it up. I don't even know what I picked up half the time, to be perfectly honest. So this is going to be a haul video and it's also going to be like a first impressions video and it's also going to be a bit of a surprise for me. So, um, let's get into it. The first thing I picked up here, I don't even know why I picked this up. It's just this, um, like this sort of makeup bag. I don't particularly like the pattern. It's $2, so whatever. But it's kind of one of those bags that has the hook that you can sort of hang up over your door. And it's got the different po pockets and compartments and stuff. And I thought, I haven't really got one that I can hang up. So I thought I would get it for $2. It's, it's actually from Clinique. Um, it's two bucks. You can't go wrong for two bucks. So whatever. I picked up a bottle of the. This is the 30 ml bottle of NYB Delicious Fresh Blossom Intense. This is the pink one. Um, I have always had the green one. I picked up the pink one sample in I think it was the October Bella Box last year. I remember that because it was all pink for Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and I picked that one up and I loved it. I love that sample. So I picked that one up. I think that was like twenty dollars. I got two sort of little um, squeezy travel bottles here from Mac. They were five dollars each. You can, I can always do with more travel bottles. I use them all the time. Uh, Clinique Chubby Sticks. Um, I've got, well I got four of them. I think these two are actually the same colour. Yeah. Well, it is colour A23, uh, no 15, Pudgy Peony. I'm probably going to give away if someone wants something like that. Um, they're really kind of sheer. That's it there. Really, really sheer lip tint. Sort of like, I don't even know if it's a tint or a stain. I don't even know why I got these. This was Bountiful Blush. Um, these were $5 each. That's probably why I got them. And this last one here is Oversized Orange. Huh, how funny. That's those three colours there. They are really, really sheer. I kind of expected them to be a slightly more pigmented, but, you know, five bucks. Can't complain. I picked up a MAC nail polish, and this is in the colour Nightfall. I don't know what colour this is. Let's have a look. I don't have any MAC nail polishes except this one. It's kind of like a gunmetal grey, kind of silvery kind of colour. I love my colour descriptions. Two eyeshadows. This is a Pro Longwear eyeshadow. I actually, obviously, because I can see the pan, I know what colour this was. This one was ten dollars, I think. Um, and I picked this one up because it sort of it doesn't remind me so much of soft brown. It's a little bit warmer than soft brown, a little bit more yellow. But I thought this would be a really nice kind of colour that you could wear every day. Um, Let's see, it's kind of the same as my skin tone, so I thought that would be a really kind of nice blending out colour. If I'm using like really dark smoky eyes, because it is so similar to my skin tone, I could just use it to, you know, buff out any edges to make the lines a little bit less sharp. So I picked up that one, um, that was, oh, sorry, Always Sunny Pro Longwear. And then I got it from the Marilyn Monroe collection. Um, this is the eyeshadow in Preferred Blonde. I didn't really, I wasn't overly stoked with many of the things for the Marilyn Monroe collection, so I didn't want to pay full price for them, but for $10 I figured I would pick it up. It's just like a really kind of nice shimmery colour, it'd be a really nice shimmery highlight colour. Again, not really too pigmented, which is why I didn't like it in the store, but five, but again, ten bucks. Was this one ten or was this one five? This one was ten, so, oh look, she's got the lips inside the packaging, that's kind of cute. Yes. Um, MAC Super Slick Liquid Eyeliner, and this is in the colour Smoky Air, and that is what it looks like. It's kind of like a really rich, deep purple colour. Um, it has got like a, the weirdest, weirdest tip. I'm not too sure if I'm like, going to like this one, because I don't like the tip. It's sort of like, it's not a brush tip, but it's kind of like a really soft kind of 
felt tip kind of tip. That's the colour there anyway, so like a nice purple. Um, but I just don't know about the tip. I find it really hard to get like a really thin line. Maybe I need to go in with like an actual brush if I want a thin line. But it is a nice colour. I don't have too many purple liquid liners, so I'm really happy I picked that one up. That one was $5 as well. So here seem to be all lip products. So I've got two things here. I think these are the same as well. These are two lip glasses from the Viva Glam Nikki collection. They are both the same colour. Let me just double check. And if it is, this will go into a giveaway as well. Yeah. Same colour, that is the uh, lip gloss there. Uh, Lollipop pink, really, really nice actually. That would look really nice. Paired over some interesting um, lipsticks. Cream Sheen Glass, and this is in the colour Paper Lantern. A really nice, like, light beige pink kind of colour. Barely see it, um, but it would look really nice to add a bit of gloss to a lipstick. That is it just there. And I picked up a Bobbi Brown lipstick. <laughs> this is Bobbi Brown Pink Lilac Brightening Lip Gloss. That's what that one looks like. I have not got any other Bobbi Brown lip products, so this would be interesting. That is it there. You can see the yeah. Pro Longwear Lip Gloss. There you go. This is fun, not knowing what I picked up. And this is in the colour Long Love Love. It is like, again, a really kind of baby pink colour. They like baby pinks this season, whatever season this was. This one is a different doe foot applicator. This one hasn't got your flat one. This has got lots of like your roundy kind of pointed one. And that is really opaque. That's it there. Really opaque. Very thin sheen glass. And this one was in the colour Pagoda. Again, baby pink. How many baby pink lip glasses can I pick up? Oh, well. Clearly they had a lot that they didn't sell in the store. So apparently this sale was like the first time in 12 years that they had a sale like this. Oh, where did I put that one? There. Loving the Another pink. Viva Glam. Mac Viva Glam Nikki 2. Ooh. And this is the crazy kind of mauvey purple one. Not everyone's cup of tea, but I think it would look nice over particular lipsticks. So that is it there. Another lip conditioner, if you saw my main favourites, this has been my absolute staple in my kit or my handbag for the last couple of months. Um, so this is just the same one, but this is the Viva Glam one with Ricky Martin's name on it. So. Um, really needed, actually needed that one because my one is almost ready to run out. So that one needs to go and replace that one. So I did get something that I liked and I needed. And then here I've got five lipsticks. So let's see what colour they are. The first one here is Supreme Style. And that is it there. It's kind of like a nudie, beigey kind of colour. That's actually a really, really nice colour. This one is in the colour... Royal Azalea. So I'm thinking it's pink. That's what that one looks like. That would kind of look nice with a, one of those lip glosses on there, so I can play around with that combination. This is in Coconutty. Don't know if I like their cross lipsticks. Whatever. They were all five bucks, so does it really matter? And this is kind of like a really odd, shimmery, goldy kind of colour. Oh. Interesting. Mm, that's it there. That might be alright with a gloss over the top. This is in Tea Ceremony. That again is really, really nice. This is it just here. Really, really gorgeous colour. I'm loving these and I love the Sheen Supreme lipsticks. Okay, and the last one I've got here is a satin lipstick and it's in Hot Chocolate. Could be interesting for winter. Is a deep brown. It's kind of like a brown, it's like a purpley mauvey brown, I would say. Uh, that's it there. A bit more of a purple side, to be perfectly honest, and I really like that. That's really, really nice. So that's it for my haul video from the Estee Lauder corporate sale. It was 
like I said, it was insane. Glad they don't do it every year because I don't think I could do it every year, but it was fun. I got a lot of fantastic bargains. Like all of that stuff literally cost me $120 and that is insane. Most of it being MAC as well. So I was really happy with what I got. I've got a lot of different lip colours to play with, a lot of gloss lipstick combinations to play around with as well. So really happy about that. I hope you enjoyed the haul. If you if you went to the Estee Lauder sale and you went shopping as well, I would love to hear what you got. Leave it as a comment below or even leave it as a video response if you make videos because that would be great to see. Hope you guys are having a fantastic week and I will talk to you soon. Bye! Bye.